Welcome back everyone to another On Kobe Sunny video. In today's video, we're discussing how to optimize your practice time on the court uh, when you crunch for time and uh, get the most out of it. We can either train uh, hard with high intensity or we can train for longer periods of time, but it's hard to do both. So uh, in today's video, we'll be discussing how to uh, practice our ground strokes in a more uh, efficient way so we can get the most out of our time. I'm gonna be at the uh, service line here and then Peter and I are gonna uh, start with some mini court. But I have actually put a couple of targets down uh, for us to hit and right off the bat that will do is it just, it's gonna give you a lot more focus. Also, we'll be keeping scores and uh, who's gonna hit more. So obviously there's gonna be a bit more incentive uh, to win. So adding these couple little things will just get you started right away and then get you focused right away. A couple technical things that we're going to focus on while we're in the mini court is keeping our feet active and also uh, with our shorter back swing because we're doing mini court, I'm going to go slowly um, come up through and finish my follow through. So I'm keeping my feet active, whether it's on the forehand side or on the backhand side, and I'm just slowly following through and I'm not rushing my shot or having a short follow through um, when I'm hitting. Hopefully I can try to get as longer a rally as I can. Once we do that for about a couple minutes, we're gonna shift over to uh, cross court uh, doing forehands first and we'll just shift over the targets. We're still trying to hit the targets and our focus remains the same in mini court is just working on our feet, keeping them active and then a shorter backswing, and then following through up with a slower swing speed. We do that for about two minutes, and then we're gonna switch over to the backhand side, and on backhand side, the same thing. We, again, focusing on our feet, shorter backswing, and then following through every single time. For the second part of the uh, practice, we're gonna move back to the baseline now, and then I've just moved the targets uh, closer to the baseline as well, and here, uh, the couple technical things that we're going to be focusing on. One is going to be our feet again. And then the second thing is going to be our shoulder turn. So every single time, whether I'm hitting my forehand or I'm hitting my backhand, I'm trying to get a good shoulder turn, whether I'm hitting open stance or neutral stance. By giving our brain a specific task to focus on for a short, uh, for a short period of time, we're able to uh, keep our intensity high and get a lot of quality uh, and good repetitions on each of the technical aspects. Uh, if you're liking the video so far, um, please like and subscribe so more passionate players like you can find these videos. You know, if you have a friend that will benefit from it too, share it with them, uh, unless you wanna keep all the secrets, uh, that's up to you. But uh, if you're liking the video, please like and subscribe. So now moving on to the third section of our practice, uh, we're going to be rallying cross court from the baseline, uh, starting on the forehand side first, and we're going to be doing that for uh, about two minutes as well. So I've moved the targets to the side as well, and the two technical things we're focusing on here, one is going to be hitting the outside of the ball in order to hit the uh, cross court shot. So if I look at the, uh, the pro pen uh, name here, and I'm trying to hit on the outside of the ball here, where the end is, in order to get the ball to go more cross court. And then on the backhand side will be the same thing, while where the P is, we're trying to hit the outside of the ball here in order to get more top, sorry, not get more top spin, in order to get the direction to go uh, cross court. The second thing we're gonna be focusing on is our recovery step. So as soon as I hit my forehand, then I'm gonna use my crossover step to recover back to the position on the court that is ideal to when I hit a cross court shot. Um, instead of staying kind of like hitting the shot and then staying where I hit the shot from, I'm actually gonna focus more on the recovery as well, just to keep the intensity high as well. Once we uh, finish with the forehand side, we're gonna move over to the backhand side and repeat the same process again. Once you've done the uh, backhand side too, it will bring you uh, to about 15 minutes uh, of time. And if you have more time, you can increase the time for e any of the sections that you would like, or you can also uh, focus on different technical aspects that you need to work on more. This way you can adapt to your game and uh, 
figure out what you need to work on. This is more like a template that you can use and then uh, keep making adjustments to it to um, optimize your time on the court. Another great way to uh, optimize our time on the court is uh, doing a warm up before we get onto the court. And for that, if you would like to watch a video where we partner with one of the top fitness coaches uh, that runs us through all the uh, warm ups you can do at home before you get on the court to optimize your time on the court, then watch this video next and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you. <laughs> Still shaking? You can put it down now.